What? Okay. Here we go. Sit down. Oh. <laughs> All right. So. Hey, don't go. This this is my second home. We are here in Arizona, in Sawarita, sunny Sawarita, and this is my niece Jade. And this is Lupin. This is pooped on you. Oh, Lupin just pooped on me. Oh my goodness. So Lupin is a very friendly little bird. How old is Lupin? Uh, like six months old. You're six months old. Oh. And and he kind of sings during the day. Where did he poop? Oh, and he flies away sometimes. So Jade's going to go get him. So I wanted to make a video today. Uh, and include my niece. So, oh, and there's the bird. Oh, oh, but he's <laughs> probably covering up the camera. Do you want to grab him? <laughs> Maybe. No, he's, he's the star of the show. Come here. Oh, come here, Lupin. Okay. And so, Jade and I wanted to share with you a day in the life of our family. Jade, what do you want to do today? We're going yawn shopping. We're gonna go yarn shopping, and then we also have to do a project out in the backyard with uh, my brother, which is Jade's dad. Uh, they're working on the greenhouse, and they have so many beautiful desert plants out there. So I wanted to show you all the the uh, the plants. Uh, let's go ahead and go outside. Can we bring the bird with us for today, or should we wait? Should we bring the bird outside with us? Or? You can't come outside with us. You can't come outside because you'll fly away. You go try and be friends with all the other birdies, huh? This is the sweetest little bird ever. I was afraid of the bird yesterday. It she flew still in my face. Is. Yeah, I'm still a little Wait, afraid. Yeah. Uh, oh. oh, you want to be my little friend? Oh, oh. <laughs> where is it? Is it in my hair? hair? He's oh, on your hand he's down. biting my hair. Oh, he's, he's trying to go back in your hair. Is what he's doing. Can I pet him on the chest? Uh, no, because that. Does um, he like the it, top of it? <gasps> oh! <laughs> <laughs> this is my mom's house. It's a really nice house out in the desert. Wait until you see this yard. It's amazing. And it's probably about 80 degrees outside already. So. This is the backyard. Jay, do you know what some of these trees are over here? What are these over here? That is a lemon tree that should be having lemons in the next couple yeah, weeks. Look how huge these are. There's bird poop all over it. <laughs> and then this is an orange tree. And then there's a bowl of paradise. That's a fig tree. That's another fig tree. That's okay, a pomegranate well, tree. You're filming. Why? Okay, wait, what's this thing right here? This is quite the interesting little character. It's just a cactus. I know, but look at how weird. Can you come get a good shot of this? We're gonna show you where the greenhouse is and all of the beautiful cactus that are over here. So my brother does landscape design and uh, he cultivates all of these plants over here for his business. So Jade, show them all these. And this is one of my favorite spots to just relax. So I don't know what else to say about all these. I know that there's so many different plants. This is a milkweed right here. It's kind of interesting. And here is the, the attachment on the And here, right here, is the um, is shed goal that we just built. Yep. Should we lock Grandma in there? Yeah. yeah. Grandma, we'll be right back for you. <laughs> ah! So this is Jade, my niece. She's got a little purse here that she made yesterday. This is part of what we're going to be doing for our adventure. Oh, it's so cute. She crocheted it. Jade, do you want to show them the button? that you did see she did a button that matches and we're thinking about starting her a little Etsy account so she can start making all of her own little things Jade, do you know any of these plants out here okay so that's probably uh I don't know these and that is a saguaro um what one's a saguaro this? that how big does that get can we go see a saguaro in the no 
Isn't there one right there? Yeah, but we don't want to go. Well, we'll just show it. Yeah, I'm going back See? inside. I'm getting That's how big it is. Okay, well, we're going to go back inside now. And we'll show you some of her projects when we get back inside. Hey guys, it's Jade, and today we are playing Five Crowns. It's one of our favorite games. All right, it's my turn. Yeah. And Jacks are wild. How do you know this is awesome? Maybe, maybe I do. I'm gonna get rid of this high card right there, see? It's a king. Okay. Okay, I discolor something. Don't look, I'm gonna show them my hand. It's a crappy hand. Okay. Wait, you don't look, I'm gonna show them my hand. Okay. Crappy hand. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> She's going out, so here's these. Wait, wait. Here's these. Oh wait, I can't go out yet. I'm a nerd. <laughs> Get rid of that one. So now you know what I have. A lot of it. Ooh, Jade likes that one. Uh-oh. We're in trouble now. Okay guys, so this is how my hand's set up. These are my cards that are either um, worthless or sure. they might be able to be matched. And right here, right here, you see? Um, these are my wild cards and these are my finished cards. Oh, y'all. Okay, fam. never mind. I do this every... Wait, no, I got it. I got it. I got it. She got it. And she's out. Good morning from Arizona. So we just wanted to check in with you. It's been a couple days since we first filmed out in the backyard. Uh, some of the things we've been doing since I've been here have been lots and lots of puzzles. I've realized that puzzles are my new uh, love. They calm your heart and make you feel like you can just focus on the thing that's right in front of you. It feels like a form of meditation. So uh, tonight we're gonna be having a family dinner. My brother and Alex and Brenna are coming over and my mom and my niece and myself. Maybe we can show you some footage of uh, the bird. There's gonna be a Harris Hawk coming over and we are just gonna be hanging out and having a family night. Stay tuned. Oh yeah, we also did two 1,000 piece puzzles. Yes, we did. And yeah, I just wanted to add that time. So here's our puzzle that we're gonna be doing. Very fun, interesting. Colin, say hi. Hi. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what did you get, Young Hawk? I'm straight out of the water. Good job. Bye. That's such a good shot. In the long run, just like training a dog, the treats will come more sporadically. So it won't be every time, it'll be more like every other time, every other time, every three times, you know, and then we'll get to a point where I, he'll just come without there needing to be anything. Bye. Yeah, her sponsor yesterday was, was like, get a different tidbit out so he can see it's nice and fresh and like, like 20 feet away or something, the bird, and you could tell the difference, you know. That's one. Wow, what a great bird. Yeah. That is so cool looking. I get this one. Okay. What was that? Just another little piece. Nice one. Okay. 
You ready to go, huh? You need to get that done. Good boy. Good job. Good boy. Good boy. He's like, I want to keep going. No. Today I'm ready. You still want to go, huh? Uh, I got nothing. You, that's nothing. Is there anything on my gloves, though? No, look. No. I don't see anything either. I think you're good to go. You did a good job. Thanks all for coming to my show. Yeah, oh, thank so you. Good. This is amazing. <laughs> All right, well, we just had a really fun night. We had a six-person dinner, and uh, we played catchphrase, and we also flew the bird a little bit. Uh, yeah, we'll see what is going to happen for us tomorrow. Good morning from Arizona. So good morning. Today is my last full day here in Arizona. We knew this day would come and I'm sad, but I'm also really happy that my brother took the day off and, and I wanted to show you my shirt. It says happiness is a state of euphorbia. And then on the back, it talks about the place I got it from, which is arid lands. Uh, my brother's girlfriend works at this store. It's a really cool plant store. And you can actually mail order a bunch of plants and have them delivered to your house. So I didn't end up buying any plants because I have to get on the airplane, but I figured that I could maybe order some plants when I got home. They're building a greenhouse. What? Can you lift it up a little? Okay, how's that? It's a little crisp day today here. Probably about 60 or so, 55. So we're just going to warm up a little bit by taking the dogs around the loop. Dogs. These dogs are so cute. That's Momo. Momo is a little miniature dog who thinks he's a big dog and Buddy is a crazy big dog and there's Jade and then this is Seb. Seb's a little old man and he's the sweetest dog ever. Hi Seb. You guys want to go on a walk? You guys want to go on a walk? Oh Buddy you jump so high. Yeah. Whoa! How high can he jump, Jade? Can you touch it? Wow! Momo tries! Momo just can't quite do it! Seb, you're a good walker boy, aren't ya? You're a good little old man. Come on! Let's go, yeah! Let's go! You want me to wait for them? They don't look like they're having very much fun. <laughs> That looks dangerous. Look at all those choya falling. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and end the video and I'll be flying home tomorrow. Thank you for watching and see you next time.